Hi, welcome, and I hope you are doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a teardown on an HP laptop, and at the same time, I will be changing the hard drive to an SSD drive. So when I change, this is a brand new SSD drive. So when I change the regular hard drive, the spinning drive, into SSD drive, the computer would not able to start up and boot to Windows because the new hard drive here does not have operating system. So this video here, what I'll be doing is only to show you the step-by-step -step on how to change the regular hard drive to a solid state drive and also a teardown process to explain to you um, some of the hardware like the RAM or the motherboard, the heatsink, the battery, uh, a few items that I'll be explaining throughout the process of this video here but you won't be able to see on how to do the Windows installation so if you change the hard drive from a regular to a solid state drive you are not able to boot up the computer because it doesn't have the Windows so if if I have enough comment below uh, if you request me to make a video on how to um, you know make a bootable Windows USB or DVD and do the step-by-step -step for this Windows 10 installation and I'm more than happy to do that or you can just look it up on YouTube and Google I'm pretty sure the step is not that difficult alright but for this video here I'll be doing a teardown and also the hard drive replacement to the solid state drive okay so for this model here so let me bring it closer to the camera so this is an HP laptop model 15 dash DW0038WM okay hopefully you guys can see it I know the writing is very light it's hard to see you need to tilt a certain angle hopefully you get to see the model number and let's get started so as you can see that we need to re first remove this rubber this rubber here is to prevent the computer slipping away there's one top and one at the bottom okay once you remove it so go ahead and get a Phillips screwdriver and remove the four screws on the top once you have that removed go ahead and remove one screw here at the bottom and after you do that there are two more screws here and it is a bit shorter the rest of the screws are longer okay once you remove them uh, what you want to do is you want to get a prying tool start prying open from one corner usually the weakest spot would be the corner side so as you can see I found a weak spot and once you have it removed the entire back plate can just come right out okay so once you have that uh, loosen up the back plate will just come right out alright at this point here you can see the entire computer here is a battery and the battery model here is HT03XL so if the battery in your case if your battery is swollen or if you see a lump on the battery that means the battery is going bad or is already bad uh, I recommend to change out the battery when you see that the battery is um, you know like not holding the charge or maybe the battery is, is swollen or swell uh, that is very dangerous you want to go ahead and replace the battery right away alright so let me go ahead and disconnect the battery there are four screws very straightforward you can obviously see the screws and you can just lift this one up and that's how you dis detach the battery okay here's the model and you can also look, look it up on this model here alright let's put that on the side I'll bring it down a little bit and I'll explain to you so here is your CPU fan and this is the copper heat sink for your CPU uh, heat sink and the CPU is underneath this is your DDR4 RAM 
and you have additional slot here if you want to increase the RAM you can go ahead and get another RAM here so here it says 8 gigabytes PC4 8 gigabytes PC4 stands for DDR4 8 gigs of RAM you can do 8 gigs here or 8 gigs on the other side total up to 16 or you can upgrade to 32 if you want to do a motherboard replacement here's the motherboard model number or you can just remove the tag let me go ahead and slide slide this little tag open all right I'll put it here on this side bring it closer to the screen as you can see if you do a motherboard replacement you can look it up the model here so the, the model for this is LA dash H three two three P. Okay, this is a two thousand nineteen model, or you can look up the motherboard model here. All right, so let's put the RAM on the side. We do not need that. Let's come back to the hard drive. This is the one that is the regular hard drive that spins. Okay, so my purpose of this is to change it out to a regular SSD drive, and let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So earlier I did explain to you that you change to a right, the new SSD drive, the computer does not boot to Windows because it doesn't have operating system. So you would have to create a bootable disk, a bootable USB, and, and install the Windows uh, fresh. Okay, there's only one screw that holds on to the bracket once you remove it you can go ahead and put it here and then slide it in to do the installation and put the two screws back on to screw the SSD all right, but I'm not going to do that now because I want to continue and show you the rest of the steps. Um, here, you can see this is your Wi-Fi card. If your Wi-Fi card is broken, this is how you replace it. Remove this Wi-Fi cable. Remove the screw. And there you have it. All right, so here you can see that... Um, all the cables are connected. This is your keyboard cable. This is your touchpad. This is the probably the the clicker on the touchpad. Left click, right click. Oops, sorry. Left click, right click. Uh, this is your touchpad, and this is your keyboard. Let's go ahead and disconnect the keyboard. Disconnect the touchpad and the clicker. All right. So next, this is the. I guess this is like the um, the auxiliary jack, your audio speaker jack. If you get your headphone speaker get stuck in there, you can just replace this or try to remove that broken piece of your headphones. Uh, but this is for your auxiliary headphone jack. All right, so let's come back to this part here. You can see this is the. Uh, hard drive cable that goes into here so go ahead and disconnect that and this one here I wasn't sure what this is but we need to disconnect it anyway uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to remove the motherboard and show you how how to do it okay go ahead and disconnect this cable as well and here you can see this is the DC jack you see that this little green label all right, so this one it runs along all the way to. So if to remove this, you got to push it upwards. Okay, push it away from you. And there's no clicker; you just a it just a a cable that slide in. So push it away from you, or up. And there you have it. It goes all the way to the top. On the left here is your DC jack, the charger where you can replace it. Okay. Here's your speaker, this one here and the top right here. And this is for your 
CPU fan. So to remove it, same thing, push it away from you. This one screw that holds onto the fan and there you have it. It's just as simple as that. One screw here to hold the fan and this is the cable to plug into the motherboard. So if you have a problem with the fan, let's say the fan is not spinning correctly or you hear the grinding noise on your fan, um, you need to replace it. It's very simple. And if you want to look for a fan replacement, go ahead and look it up for this model here or maybe this model here, the number. All right, at this point, as you can see, you wanna clean out the dust on your heat sink. This is a good time where you can just dust it out, you know, maintain the laptop. And here is a CPU, right? So if you want to remove the heat sink to apply a new thermal paste, if you feel like your laptop is getting too hot, and you know if you feel like it's time to clean out the heat sink and to apply a new thermal paste there you have it this entire heat sink will just come right out get one of these alcohol wipes okay and then go ahead and wipe it down all this dried up thermal paste all right you need to wipe down and apply with the new thermal paste on on a computer okay you need to have thermal paste on a heat sink do not just wipe it and install the heat sink there's there's no no all right so next step is um i want to show you would be the speaker all right so if you want to remove or replace the broken speaker again the cable here is to push away from you This is your speaker connector, okay? Here is for your LCD, so go ahead and open the clipper. Once the clipper is open, you can uh, s just lift up the cable. And this cable goes around and goes to the LCD. All right, let's go ahead and try to remove the motherboard now. So there's one screw here, one here, and this one here at the bottom left. And there you have it. So the entire motherboard just come right out, just like that, okay? That's how the motherboard looks like. So at this point, and you can see this is your speaker. So the speaker would doesn't have any screw to it. If you open the hinge, if you want to replace the LCD screen entirely, meaning that the assemble with the hinge and the glass, the touch screen, you would have to do it this way, right? So you have to remove the two screw, open up the, the hinge, and here you get the speaker out. So this is how you remove the speaker, right? I'm gonna put it back in and go along the cable. Same thing. You're going to do it here on this side. So go ahead and get the cable away from the speaker. And two screws. Open it up. And lift the hinge. Okay. Then the entire keyboard, it will be remove away from the touch screen uh, from the LCD screen so this entire piece LCD is going to remove just like that if this what you plan to do is to remove entirely and that's how you do it right so with the hinge with the Wi-Fi cable with the with the uh, uh, the LCD connector they're all one piece together like that but if you want to remove just the LCD you can do that as well um, it's not going to be on this video here, but what you can do is remove the bezel, right? And then remove the LCD. So here I like to explain to you is, you can see that the keyboard is not a screw 
in keyboard meaning that the keyboard is built one piece together as you can see the keyboard is built entirely with the palm rest together okay so it is not a separate component where you can remove or replace the keyboard so if you have a broken keyboard my recommendation is to find the entire replacement part of this and do all the transfer over after um, sorry it sucks the keyboard is, is is not replaceable so I think that's pretty much it I wanted to do the video for you is to explain every single component here and uh, if you have any question please comment below and like I said if you want me to make the uh, uh, tutorial on how to make a Windows 10 bootable USB drive um, I'm more than happy to uh, to make that video for you but just you know leave enough comment below uh, if I have enough requests on on what you guys want me to do I would go ahead and do that for you uh, not a problem and if you want me to show you how to clone the hard drive meaning that if you want to clone the hard drive from an old hard drive to a new solid state drive so all the windows all the programs all the data everything get migrated over I'm more than happy to show you that video as well uh, just comment below let me know that you need help with this type of work I'm more than happy to uh, uh, explain it to you so um, again I really appreciate for your time that you're taking to watch this video here and I'm really happy to able to do such a video for you like this um, and if you like it please give me a thumbs up I really appreciate it and um, you know subscribe if you prefer you know I like to make more of this video for you uh, in the near future as well so what else do I need to say I think pretty much it um, I think you already know what you need to do is to like my video <laughs> subscribe and uh, until next time so please take care good luck with your repair and I'll see you soon bye